In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a large amount of files into your Moodle course in one go um, using zip format. Um, if we go back to the course we've been working on, so in my first section, we've got interactive whiteboards. And I've got a load of documents on my uh, desktop that I want to upload into this. So we'll have a look at those first of all. So we see here I've got a folder called interactive whiteboards. And inside that folder, we've got activities to try out, handouts, and technical specs. I'll move that down there. And so then inside these folders, we've got some documents, PowerPoints, graphics in there, and so on. So I want to get all this up into my interactive whiteboard section. So what I need to do now is on this interactive whiteboard folder, I'm going to create my zip file. So I right click over it and choose send to compressed folder. And this will create a file with the same name, but has zip as its extension. Okay, so I'm going to go back into Moodle now. Okay, so I want to upload this folder, or up, sorry, upload this zip file, but I upload it as a folder. So I turn my editing on, and I go to Add Resource, and I choose Folder. So I'm going to give this folder a name. I'm going to call it Interactive Whiteboard Documentation. And I put a description there saying in this folder is a documentation for the interactive whiteboard element of this course. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to tick this box which displays the description on the course page. So on the front page, I'll have the folder and then it'll have a description of what's in the folder. So I'm going to choose that. Okay, so I'm going to add my zip file in now. So I go to add, which again brings up the file picker that we've seen so far. And I want to upload a file. And I'm going to browse to my zip file that I created. So if I'm on my desktop, we should find a zip file there, there it is, interactive whiteboards.zip. So I'm going to open that one and upload that. Okay, now this is the crucial point. What we do instead of just saving this and going back to the course, next to the file there's a little icon like this, and we've got to click on that icon and choose unzip. So now this has created the folder here. So we've got the zip file and we've got all the files unzipped in these folders. So I can now delete this zip file. So again, I click on this icon and I choose delete. And yes, I'm sure I want to delete this file. So all we have left now is this folder with interactive whiteboards. And now I can scroll down and save and return to my course. And so I'll go back up and I'll turn my editing off. And so here we are here, interactive whiteboard documentation. And there's my description in this folder is a documentation for the interactive whiteboard element of this course. And then when we click into here, we can see the different folders and they're broken down. So if I, I can minimize these there, so we've got interactive whiteboards, activities to try out, handouts and technical specs. And I can click to open any of the sections and then we then click on any of these to download them. So that's how you create your zip file and upload it into your Moodle course.